Hi, I'm Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, and this is Daily Devotion number 120. Today's meditation is taken from the book of James, chapter 5, verse 16. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. God wants us to be healed, and one of the most important steps is confession. The fifth step that we make to another trusted individual. Step five reads, we admitted to God and to ourselves and to another human being <laughs> the exact nature of our wrongs. In recovery, we hear time and time again that we're only as sick as our secrets. And when those secrets come out and are shared with yourself, moving out of denial with God in honesty and confession, and with one other human being. Those secrets have no place to hide. They begin to lose their power. And when we receive love and acceptance and forgiveness, despite the sharing of our secrets, we start breaking the chains of those secrets. Confession is really an important part of recovery. And yes, it can seem risky. That's why you need to choose carefully who you choose to confess to. And you need to do a careful inventory to understand what you need to confess. This doesn't just become an initial 12-step program. This becomes a lifestyle of every day. The Lord said that if we would come to him, if we would confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive them. Our prayer today is this. Thank you, Lord, for understanding my need for brothers and sisters in the faith who can strengthen and support me as I share my secrets and walk toward wholeness. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us continue to pray. Lord, it is healing that we greatly desire, and you want it in our life too. We pray that we wouldn't keep the secrets any longer that uh, bind us. You promised that the th secret things would become known and they won't remain hidden, whether they're for good or for evil. We pray, Lord, that we would work hard to expose the secrets, the painful secrets of our life, that we would not be in denial, that we would know that you know, and that we would uh, uh, confess it to one other person so that we can be healed as they're exposed to the light and to the truth and to the wonder of the Holy Spirit in our life. I thank you, Lord, for the freedom that you're going to give my brothers and sisters as they take this journey together at the fifth step. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. So glad that you've been a part of Daily Devotions, and we want you to know that God loves you. If you're considering your desire to make the fifth step, we encourage you to join a Celebrate Recovery Group and work through each step in an appropriate sequence from 1 to 12. Don't skip right to 5. Do the work. Join the program. Be a part of a fellowship of people who care and support and are on the road to recovery with you as well. I hope you encourage someone else to join Daily Devotions. And if God is doing something great in your life, we would hear, like to hear about it by leaving a comment below. That would be encouragement to us and an encouragement to other people. This has been <coughs> Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, encouraging you as always to keep the faith and to share it too.